Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I have my lush Easter haul for you. I actually wanted to film this haul a couple of weeks ago but I've had a really bad throat infection and cold. I haven't been able to smell anything which would make filming a lush haul kind of difficult as I couldn't smell most of the products but I feel so much better now so I'm ready to film. I must say Compared to the Mother's Day range, I am a little bit disappointed in um, Lush's Easter range this year, just because it's quite a small range, um, and secondly, they haven't brought out the fluffy egg, which is just like, what the fuck? I seriously, like, I went into a store and I asked the person at the counter, I was like, are they bringing it out later? Why is it not here? And she was like, no, they're not bringing it out this year, which is really, I just find it really strange because... Like, every Lush fan that I know loves the fluffy egg. And I know I buy, like, at least five every Easter, so... I don't know. What is that about? Like, it's lacking a little bit this year. That said, I did buy five products, which I will show you now. So the first thing that I want to show you, which is... As far as I'm aware, this is brand new this year. Um, this is also something completely new in terms of product type. I've never seen one at, like, Lush do this before. And this is a face wash jelly. Now, if you follow my channel, you will know that I'm a huge fan of the shower jelly. Yeah, so I was kind of excited when I saw that they were bringing out a face wash in the jelly format. Um, and this is quite hefty, so I expect this to last a long time. It is a shaped jelly, so that I don't think there's any way that you can use it as a whole. I feel like you would definitely have to break bits off, which is a bit of a shame. Um, but yeah, this is called Flopsy. Simply flop it out and stroke it over your face. Sounds a bit dirty. Zesty lemon and bergamot oils. Mmm. Softening almond oil. And I can't say that one, so I'm not going to try. Carrot infusion. Almond oil, gardenia extract, lemon oil, bergamot oil, and bushu oil. Oh, I do like bushu oil. Let's have a sniff. Oh, okay, so carrot scent. They have, they've had this scent before, basically. They have it in their, like, bunch of carrots um, bubble bath, and they also had it in a soap the one year, which I absolutely loved. And again, they haven't brought that out. It was called the carrot soap, and it was like a giant carrot. And I really, really liked that, but this year they've brought out, like, a chocolate-scented one that just doesn't, just doesn't do it for me. This is also the same scent as the snowman shower jelly at Christmas, which I absolutely love. Yeah, so I'm going to take that out at the end because I have a feeling it'll go absolutely everywhere. But I'll probably put it in a cutaway now. Can you see that? Can you see that little bunny? It looks fucking terrifying. You could kind of put it on your face. just really really refreshing and seriously good I mean how will this will work in terms of actually cleansing my face I'll have to see but I do have pretty high hopes as Lush's skincare is usually pretty good for my skin speaking of the bunch of carrots bubble bar I bought the bunch of carrots bubble bar which I've used many times um, and I just really really like again lovely fragrance so this is six pounds fifty which is actually quite a lot i can't remember how much this was let me just check so this is 7.95 which is quite expensive but i feel like you get a lot of product there and it should last a long time so i think that's kind of reasonable these are six pounds fifty but i think if you can get about two baths from each like carrot um, and that's me using, like, I like to use a lot of the bubble bar because I like to have a lot of bubbles. Um, so you could probably get more, but I get about two um, two baths out of each carrot. So I don't think that's that bad in terms of value. So it's got the same scent as Flopsy. It's um, bergamot, Sicilian lemon oil, and bushy oil. But the scent in this is a lot more reserved than in the um, shower jelly. Which is probably just down to the fact that it's a different a different product, basically. Like, you're always going to get more of a scent in the shower jellies, I think, because they're so 
like wet, if that makes any sense. Oh, so good. It's so nice to be able to smell things again. Now we have a product, perhaps not for everyone. This is the Golden Egg Bath Bomb, which I wasn't going to buy because I have my own house and my own bathroom now. So if anything, I'm more concerned about the glitter than I used to be, which is bad probably, but yeah. This is gonna be a bitch to clean up. I know that I don't wanna get glitter everywhere. And, ugh. So this is Golden Egg, which is a golden egg. And it has the same scent as the Honey I Wash the Kids soap. And ooh, ooh. Oh, that was a mistake. I don't think it went on my sofa though. Oh. So they really pack the glitter on this one. Well. Oh shit. It's all over the beach towels and my laptop and the carpet. Oh no. I'm gonna put this away. <sighs> yes. Oh my god. This, this would make a really nice eyeshadow, I must say. Ew. Oh god. Oh shit. It's all over the sofa. Oh no. Glitter aside, it's actually a really nice product. And from past times using it, I can say that it doesn't really stick to the bath very much. It is quite easy to rinse away. And I don't think it sticks to your skin either, but I can't quite remember. I don't think it does. But yeah, it's kind of like a bath bomb slash bath melt. Um, it's quite buttery. So it's filled with cocoa butter. Um, it does make your skin feel a little bit greasy afterwards, kind of like a greased chicken, um, which I'm not overly keen on. I don't really like Lish's bath oils because I don't like an oily bath. I know other people absolutely love them and there's nothing wrong with them, they're just not for me. And I feel kind of the same about that because it's got some of the bath bomb element to it as well. It's not quite as bad. Um, and the scent is just so nice. Like, I love the Honey I Wash the Kids range. So I just... I'll overlook the oiliness. And you know, sometimes you need a bit more moisture. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Now, onto the more expensive side of the Easter range. They do two, like, really large um, Easter bath bombs. The Which Came First one, which smells like chocolate... I've used it one year, I think, but I've never been that big of a fan of that bath bomb. Um, and because it is kind of more expensive, I'm not going to buy it just for the sake of, just for the sake of it, really. I don't hate the smell, but it's just not one that I love. So I didn't pick that up. I did, however, pick up the chicken mix, which I believe is new this year, which, again, is absolutely fucking huge. And this is designed so that you can definitely get three baths out of it, which I really like. Because although the Witch Came First bath bomb is huge, it's really hard to break Lush bath bombs. So it's kind of hard to get more than one use out of it. Whereas with Chicken Mix, it's in like three separate bits. Which makes it really, really easy to get three baths out of it. Ooh, this is actually the first time I've managed to smell this because I was ill when I bought it. Ooh, that's different. I can't think of another product that's got that smell. It's a little bit more perfumey than what Lush usually bring out. Kind of like musky, but really sweet as well. I like that. So it's got like the yellow bit on the top and then it's got a little tiny orange. Oh my god! A little tiny orange egg in it, but the egg has got like a bunny's face on it. I didn't notice that before. Oh, that's really cute. So this has Tonka Absolute Bergamot Oil and something called Labdanum Resinoid, which I must admit I've never heard of before, but I'm assuming that must be what gives it that kind of perfumey musky scent. You, like I can smell the sweetness of the tonka. I don't get that much of the like fruitiness from the bergamot, but it's got like a really perfumey musk, which I actually really really like. 
good. Really good. And the last thing that I bought from the Easter range was a shower gel. I think this is new. I haven't don't recall using this before. And this is the Wash Behind Your Ears shower gel. Now I really did not need another shower gel as I have loads on my Lush shelves at the moment. But I just could not resist a brand new one. I mean, what kind of Lush fan would I be? So this has got carrot infusion, neroli oil, rose oil, jasmine absolute, sunflower oil. Ooh, that's a lovely shade of orange, I must say. Ooh. So it's kind of like the um, bunch of carrots scent family. But with like a rosiness to it that adds just... It kind of knocks a bit of the sweetness down, I think. It makes it a tiny bit more like tart. It's definitely like a spring type fragrance, which I really, really like. It's almost a bit like the Ponche shower gel from Christmas, but not quite as fruity. So I'm really looking forward to using that. I did get the smallest size because I was trying to be good. So yeah, that's everything I bought from the Easter range. It was quite a small haul this year just because it was quite a small range this year. Um, but hopefully they'll be bringing out lots of new products in the summer as well. Because um, I just love, I just really love filming these videos to be honest. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already, please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.